for a tizzler Hit it over a spit up man I be in kind of bit I got a DM in my Twitter and I'm feeling like a winner And why would I not? Cause the vibe is a lot Got some guys in the spot that are firing them shots Without a nine or a glock So why would we mind if you like us or not? We're headed right to the top We're moving up, you couldn't touch us if all And we're doing us cause no one does it better Cause if you break that bastard body bag, it's gonna twat you. <laughs> you white, didn't it? You white to battle a gang? Well, that's an impossible task. Fuck me, Emily Heskey has more chance of another international cap than you were repping this nation. <laughs> when you were repping this nation, you irrational twat. <laughs> it's got a radio show called We Are Bang. Yeah, it's a smack by the look of it. <laughs> yeah, crack like this guy's sucking it. It's smack by smells like a rubbish tip, and his dash chat's always on Twitter crying like a fucking bitch. <laughs> and whenever you are on the radio, fam, it's always a crap show. You thought you had a big class to be keeping under wraps though. Instead they brought boats and buried you under wraps, bro. When I look at your eyes, I think one thing. Thundercats. Oh. Thundercats. Thundercats. I'm having fun, la. It's time to feast. Your mum, rah, she's a fucking beast. She's a heavy bitch. You are very shit. And with those fucked up eyes, you must have Chinese heritage. And I know he's got Chinese in him. I'm not even chatting my shit. We can go back and check the files to see I got my facts right. Because when old Shane made a racist joke referring to a jack side, you can see the whole crowd laughing, except that guy. <laughs> so when he's on the radio, he don't use a needle, he uses his chopstick. His favourite meal is hands, dog stick. <laughs> I've got holes behind me, I've been pimping since pimping. First family Chinese, they've been shrimping since shrimping. <laughs> Everyone first family, kung fu fighting. Ha! Your face is extra frightening. <laughs> <laughs> and your mum's funeral, I'm raping your fucking daughter. Egg fry lie, sweet sour soul. What's for that? It's Nana taking my fucking order. <laughs> Forget that. Your name on Facebook is Lucky for some. And with that face, I would have just called myself Unlucky, cunt. <laughs> what a whopper. You're like a cross between Rodney Trotter and Shotty Horror. <laughs> Between Rodney Trotter and Shotty Horror, and there's nothing but wank coming out your mouth, you're just a gobby tosser. And your mum charges far too much, fam, that's rubbing extortion. She's like a drunk waitress, the way she's been tossing portions. You've got a face like a botched abortion. I'll take the 13, I'll take the 13 out of his name for a laugh, replace it with TWAT, Mr. Twat. <laughs> Alright, yo, then, yo, so don't flop, put a motherfucking king against a resident court jester. Mm. I love him stumbling out the ring, looking like he just fought Lesnar. I know some are wondering, why Battle 
Lewandowski knowing that he can't punch with ya. But my team knew what time it was. Easy body, in the first battle of the day, just means I can get drunk quicker. <laughs> So listen, fat boy slim wallet. Let's hurry up and get this shit out of the way. He thought I was sleeping on him. Do you really think I came all the way from down south to play? Fuck that, and fuck four weeks prep when I can write around the day. Still have man trying to think about my bars for right around the day. Think we're in the same weight class? You clearly need a hearing aid. And you might need glasses. Mm. I'm gonna be brutally honest, bro. I only did this battle because I said he'd give my boys five free passes. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know Bobski's a funny fucker, but we've all spotted him struggling with bars, and I don't mean on a weight bench, because half of them are shit, the other half don't even make sense. So you need to stick to them jokes and cut that shit out like you're wrapping a verse clean. How ironic, he's about to get eight for a plus five, because his bars don't add up to 13. <laughs> Me and Tony D both about to go free and knowing leaves. We'll take the UK by storm. Then you see us outside blowing trees. See, the only thing me and Bolski got in common is that our appetite is quite enormous. Our body Joe Snow in Leeds, body Jay Smug, Jay Short, he's about to get added to the pile of corpses. Cause he's the worst one in a lot of them. So you know this guy has got to go. It's fitting his name's Bolski. Cause he's just another body from up north. I'ma slide on top of snow. <laughs> Like this whole battle's pause worthy, cause this prick is moist. We well, all know he can't fuck with me with bars, so I hope you bought your best dance moves and singing voice. Yeah. <laughs> Even then, he could hit no slight like Mariah, and it's left to do more to win. Shit, couldn't beat me if he did a one-legged moonwalk in Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> It's blatant that this guy was just a novelty act. I see man reenact shit from novels with straps, but I still kept my morals intact. Most men are too diva to give Bolski a chance, because they don't want to risk all they've invested. But I ain't too vain to give him a shot. And here's the part where he finds out he was AIDS infested. You get laid to rest quick, we ain't taking breast pics. We flash something at his chest like ugly slappers. And I ain't trying to play her, uh, but my man didn't know who's a fucking gaffer. It's Mr. Ian Daniels, stink face game like Liam Bagnalls. <laughs> Chat shit, you get slapped up and thrown out. That's why I called a free step to see him travel. Fuck people bars. And I normally wouldn't bother with him, cause they sound so lazy. But America would drop on a late outrageous crowd go crazy. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm feeling like I'd get more love if I came here from a different nation. Cause Yanks can drop some shit like I got an Iron Man, let me Tony Stark. And people <laughs> I'm UK and I'm proud, and I don't cater to crowds. Ain't none of these shanks leaving with the wind, fam. I'm saying it now. I ain't playing about the way the rewarding shit performances is getting me so confused. But I'm still lyrics over gimmicks and integrity over views. He's overrated yanks in my 13th battle and then retire. I just had to go through my mate Bolski to take a shot at the real enemy. Now that's what you call friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you a story at the start of this verse. I was in a toilet in Slovenia, squeezing out a big turd. <laughs> an old, an old man coughing, wheezing and being sick worse. And we didn't want to witness the guy die, so I tried to disperse. Came out the toilet and I realised it wasn't an old man, it was first. <laughs> Fuck it, it sounded like Arnie was dying in the bog next to me. <laughs> 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 Medicine won't save you. Beecham's is not the answer. You're dying, mate. Your cancer's got cancer. That's why you're pale. That's why you're pale like a polter, guys. You'll be dead soon like motherfucking Walter White. So fuck this battleship. You're my mate, G. I want you to put my mind at ease. I don't want you to die from lung disease. I want you to live, so please invest in one of these. The point is, if you don't quit smoking, you won't see tomorrow, Dan. That heart will give out. That shit will be hollow, man. You've got worse breath control than Hollahan. You'll die first like a black guy in a horror. Yeah. <laughs> this is your shit music, but it caused me some pain. You must have had too many bombs to the brain when you made that song Strong in the Brave. You ain't strong, brave, you're wrong, gay. You've got an odd shaped monk face, which is long place and looks concave. Wow. You, look like, you look like the default character of that bridge strips. <laughs>
You're creating Daniels or a load of proper dipshits, a hopeless proper misfits, and if Tony were in it, no one would know you lot existed. Woo. You like to think you're the one running the faction. The first is a faggot, he ain't coming for action. He thinks he's the boss, but he's just a horrid pagan. He's nothing but an active president. It's Ronald Reagan. You think your crew is D gonna make it get them gold riches? Nah, you're more like the golden girls, because you're just a bunch of old bitches. A load of stubborn fairies that display faggot ways. Fuck me, Tom D been rapping since before the first episode of Happy Days. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, first, you are the wankest of wank gangsters. It don't make it hard just because you chill with the Black Panthers. <laughs> first, Tiki Jamaican. Yo, yo, first, Tiki Jamaican. Staple diet curry, goat rice and P2. Blood clark, you ain't black, my you. I bet you wank over Eric Abadu. Go rask the church and praise Jatu. And when someone drops the M bomb, you think they mean you. <laughs> Been going home dead, so get ready for round three. I'm not even in my zone yet. Yo, no talk. Who needs three rounds when I can sum up Bolski's whole life in two words? P fuck. <laughs> Titties up. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. Both gets loads of girls. They always come over and start giving him hugs. And any time they ask to take a picture, it's love. But when he actually leans over, tries to get himself a little kiss in the club, they're like, oh, get the fuck off me, you fat slippery mug. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not God's gift to women, but I can punch above my weight. Bolski's no God's gift to women, cos he can munch above his weight. I mean, I once saw him dribbling. I went over, he's like, oh, look at her, she's buffet. I looked over, turns out I heard him wrong. He said, look over there, it's a buffet. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say, this chubby geezer is not a fussy eater. <laughs> women, he isn't fussy either. You can catch the bold stars sneaking out of brothels like Justin Bieber. <laughs> He'll try his luck with anything. I'm talking different ages, different creeds. How ironic. As soon as we see the boss dog walking, we all know we won't be pulling no bitches in Leeds. <laughs> It's the only thing he's that what hate wank is the only thing he's doing in the sheets. Shout out to his producer Pro P. He calls him condom because he's a cop blocker, plus he keeps ruining his beats. But we get back to how shit <laughs> Yo, we get back to how shit you are at rapping later. For now, I wanna address the people that act like I'm some massive hater. Listen, I speak my mind and I live life like I might get stabbed tomorrow. They say I moan on Twitter, they're the one that moan about tweets that they don't have to follow. Man, judge me because I speak street. Brother, I grew up around criminals at large. Bear comments about my appearance. I'm thinking that these pricks even listen to the bars. They don't want to hear a real MC. Or rather hear a clown like Bolski that is giving them a laugh. But how ironic. It's Don't Flop's birthday. And with them cheap jokes, they only ever put you on the middle of the card. <laughs> I'm top tier, you're not near. All the real rappers know why I'm iller. This is a hired killer versus a flyer filler. This is a main eventer versus a fake contender. Let's hope you can take the pressure trading crops with one of the greatest ever. I mean, look, this whole battle's kind of like on that battle of the bay. I went to the smoking area so I could take flight properly. I see some of them Americans went over, ended up taking a few tops and a slip of daylight off of me. But I saw some security guards, so I walked away with it thinking that they might bother me, because the only way you'll see me taking the L is if it was a daylight robbery. <laughs> Yeah, you took the easy route in that round, yeah, yeah, there's no question I'm fat. But I've lost three stones since the last birthday, you could have mentioned that, you twat. <laughs> and yo, so you beat Euphorical, but I think you've had bigger fish to fry. I still find it a miracle how you managed to beat that guy, because you did a full round about sandwiches and you thought that that was tight. 
Cheese and ham, piece of spam, egg, crest, mini, lamb, lemon zest, combination chicken, make a finger lick it first. My god, what the fuck were you thinking? Is that performance dip rattle me? Or maybe think you could stump me? All that battle did was make the whole stock hungry. <laughs> Your crusty skin and pale complexion makes you look old, bitch. My verdict is your skin couldn't handle the summer solstice. No, wait, I mean it verdict in the summer you couldn't handle solstice. Oh. Yeah. That battle was off the shit. Nah, nah, nah. Two boring gimps trying to spit intelligent bits and came out looking like a couple of irrelevant bricks. And what did you say? The square's a troll. So I have to spray arms to air us all. Woo! Fucking hell, but he said he'd like to be funny with your performance. At least that's what you intended to try. He said he got inspiration from me. I've never been so offended in my life. <laughs> with that cheesy grin, waving your arms around like a puppet on a string. You're a weasley wimp. If you had arms, you would pull it on a whim. You're a measly wimp. My arm would crush you before you could think. Because I'm sick of not getting the respect I deserve. Next year, Bosky's taking over the earth. I'm one extra champion, five in the booth, two EPs coming soon. So what are you going to do when Big Bosky comes for you? <laughs> Oh, man. You don't need Twitter to follow this. Losing my patience like shit, man. I'm a horror flick. I hit, man. With hollow tips. Fuck bullets. I bring a hundred clips. When I bust the chrome, they're curious to see you'll get dropped like drones if you get serious, G. But fuck weaponry. I bring a tomahawk with me. That's what I call my t -t big T. I'm so freezing, I can make. Well, I'm so freezing, I can make calico. You'll get bodied worse than calico. I'm loaded with luxury. No one can fuck with me, especially this little faggot hole. See, I got bars and drugs. Your bars are drugs. You battle with soul, you must have hardly. You can hardly cope with a hardcore boss. You're a martyr of course. Are you hard? No, you just got spat out by the big bad bow. This dead rabbit, fat bastard, meth addict. We couldn't hack it with the best, so they sent the fat bastard and he's getting bodied because I'm an absolute. You're an absolute faggot. <laughs> I'm so young. <laughs> Yo, I'm so much stronger than I was. You'll never be ahead of me. I've done more this year than you've done in your career. I'm leaving a legacy. I'm so much better than this brainless monster. You ain't stealing the win. You think you're a rap god, but you're just a bad guy, my evil twin. You're a stan, and your biting boss is nothing short of criminal. It's like the Marshall Mothers LP2. It's okay, but it'll never be as good as the original. Talk to Yo, see me? I grew up on Smack DVD. I'm talking Um Casa, Jay Mills, and those motherfuckers. I did a couple street battles, then I started practicing my skills by hitting open mics like Buster Douglas. Most of these, most of these, most of these battles, in, most of these battle MCs ain't real rappers. Just a bunch of suckers. They can't even keep it real with the man in the mirror like Uncle Rockers. So I told uh, I only fuck with the real MCs. Not the ones putting on some fraudulent act. I mean the ones that use this platform to bring a brand across all of the map. It's the yeah. one, it's about the ones doing the shows, going studio and recording all of the tracks. Yeah. But then I heard Bowski's music <laughs> and I had to take all of it back. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Bro, your flow is a complete disaster. Sounds like you recorded the verse a cappella, then put the beat in after. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oski makes awful records for his mates that dug a, dug a gram in a day. He never knew that he used as a torture method for inmates at Guantanamo, babe. <laughs> so yeah, you got yourself a fire in the booth. Well done, well done, mate. Ain't like it was because Sloth heard your music and said his verse was cold as fuck. It's because you did your second-rate comedy routine to a bunch of festival goers who have never heard of Loaded Lux. I mean, how hard, really, how hard is it to get festival heads to laugh at the end of the day? Half of them are pissed up, and the other half are on MDMA. <laughs> And the guy you battled at one extra, bruv, he looked incredibly gay. I'm sitting there thinking, all the shit you can dispose to you about, and you couldn't think of anything better to say. Well, fuck it, he got the championship, and he was really feeling great. All his pals were like, oh, he got fire in the booth. Sick, can't wait to see it, mate. But, I mean, we couldn't wait for his fire in the booth. Not so we could hear sick bars from a lyricist. Bruv, we just couldn't wait to laugh at how shit it is. This is fire in the booth, what, what? It's a walk star, baby. Oh, we got Charlie. We got Charlie. Nibby, 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 nibby,
Rob, that's how you rap. I've heard of Atkins in between bars, but never asthma attacks. <laughs> Rob, with a flow like that, even Pepper Tips wouldn't give him a deal. He should get capital punishment for sounding like Big Pun just without the rhythm and skill. <laughs> but I mean, with that fucking shit flow, I'm surprised Sloth didn't laugh at you. But then again, you wouldn't have, would he? Because he left halfway through. <laughs> I was still sitting there thinking that his lyrics are good. In reality, Sloth had one round of that and thought, fuck, he just got out there as quick as he could. He couldn't even realise that he was playing, you son. He was like, yeah, no, I just, um, gotta go do that thing for Radio 1. <laughs> so this whole battle's been an intervention just to tell you how shit that you are. And one more thing, while they're doing the judging decision, don't be surprised if I nip to the bar. First. Thank you. It's old English, just watched Burtz and Bowski. I think the first round, I think Bowski's energy was sick. Um, I think a little bit of singing and dancing doesn't do as much for me. And I think um, Burtz sort of analysed it nicely. And when he went out of America and he came back to Bowski, I thought that was nice. I thought he was going off and I didn't really like, like how he was going off. And then he brought it back. I think he took the first round. I think second round, Bouncy just was so direct. And a lot of the stuff he said, I felt hit. I felt hurt. Ch um, ch ch hurt a bit. Third round, I think, Virch just bodied it. So many protocols, a lot of us were slept on. So, um, two ones for Bouncy. Got a shuffle to you, judging the Bowski in first bout. Uh, I thought it was really close, uh, really close actually, really tough to make a decision. Uh, I think the first round I'm going to have to go with uh, Bowski. Uh, the second round I think even though it had a bit of chokes, I think I'm still going to have to go with first to be honest. And then I think the last one was first as well, so I'm going to give it to first. Alright, uh, G PS5 out uh, here judging Mr. Furtin versus Bowski. Good battle out here, Rob. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, they both came out going hard in the first round. Not necessarily easy to call which way it went. You know what I'm saying? Second round, Barsky took it quite clearly. You know what I'm saying? And the third round, close as well. But I, I just say from the strength of the second round, and the fact the first had too many slip ups, and Barsky went hard in those first two rounds. Barsky did the battle. Yes. Yeah, of course, your fifth birthday weekend. Crazy battle, a great way to start the weekend. Barsky missed the third game. I'll break it down quickly. First round was crazy, I'm going to edge it just to Bowski on performance wise, I thought he was sick. Second round, you know Mr. Fitch had a lot of stumbles, bars were sick, that's a close one for me, I'm just going to edge it 13. Third round for me was the weakest for both of them, they both had crazy lines. 2 1 for it's a crazy battle. Yo, it's Code J, follow me at Code J Official, I'm judging Bowski and Mr. 13. Um, I think it was hard to judge, but uh, first round that I gave to Mr. 13, I thought I had more bars. Um, it was hitting more. Um, second round, I had to give to Bowski. He had more personal attacks. And Mr. 13 stumbles. He's had to give to Bowski. And third round was close, but I think Mr. 13's punches just weren't hitting. Although some were slept on, they just weren't hitting. So I'm gonna give it to one Bowski. That was a really, really great battle. But picking up the decision on the three-two, Mr. 13. Mr. Fucking